I want to plan out a super risky trade that offers a little bit over a 200% return. Now, again, I'm making this very clear. Do not take this trade and it's a super risky trade. But I want to use our risk to reward ratio calculator uh, when breaking this down. And yes, I'm actually talking about DJT. You guys know that I was talking about DJT when it was at $80 per share. And I was telling you and I was screaming in every video of like, I would sell now. I would sell now. It's a pump and dump. Like it's not going to last a long period of time. You can see with its, you know, volume, I pointed that out. The price action, I pointed that out. I pointed out that it had no fundamental. It lost over $50 million just in the last quarter of last year. Again, like uh, they said, Waffle House made more money than this. So you might be asking, well, Ricky, like why would I potentially even want to trade it now? Again, you probably don't, but let me just break it down and this thing has sold off 70%. Now the cheap can always get cheaper, but it's timing. And based off of, again, losing 70%, do you guys know what's going on this Thursday? Seven jurors have been selected in the past two days for Trump's hush money trial. And by Thursday of this week, the criminal case is supposed to start, right? So Trump has just a bunch of, you know, a bunch of nonsense going on. But the way that I view DJT is I don't view it as a social media application that it's the parent company of, I view it as an indicator for Trump. Is he doing well? Is he not, right? Ever since this has been brought to light, he's lost his hype because again, he might be faced with criminal charges, not just the fine, but criminal charges that might actually put him in jail. With that being said, if he ends up showing signs of winning this case, then what do you think is going to happen with DJT? Again, I view it as an indicator on his success, whether he wins or loses that case. So yes, if he ends up losing that case, this thing can continue to crash because with no Trump, there's no such thing as DJT. But if he ends up winning this case, what is the potential return? Now again, from current lows of $23 per share to previous highs of $73, $79, it offers about 237% return. Let's plug this into the risk to reward ratio calculator, which of course we provide for you guys for free at techbudsolutions.com. You guys can download it. Just go to more trading tools and we have it available for you other under numbers or Excel, just depending if you have a MacBook or not. But the really cool thing about this trading tool is you plug in your desired entry price, let's say 23 bucks, your desired exit price, let's just say 79 bucks, and your de desired cut losses. Again, every trade comes at some form of risk. Make sure you manage it. 22. Obviously, these are very extreme entries, exits, and the stop loss is very minute. This has a 56 to 1 risk to reward ratio. Ricky, I'm a beginner. What exactly does that mean? Super simple. That means for every 1% of risk, it offers 56% of potential upside. That is according to my entry, exit, and stop loss, right? And with 1,000 shares, which according to this would be about $230,000, I could potentially, I'm sorry, $23,000. I could potentially make $56,000. That means with 23,000, I could potentially make $56,000 thousand dollars. Now again, $23,000 is also not a small amount of money. I'm not here to sugarcoat it, right? Do not put yourself in a position in which you cannot manage. It's great to talk about all of the potential, but understand it also comes at some form of risk. And that risk is $1,000 of a potential loss. So to me, the way that I view this is, okay, I could potentially make $56,000. I could potentially lose $1,000. Is this a trade that I want to personally take myself? This is something that you can agree or disagree with. Nonetheless, as of right now, for the past few days, this stock has not indicated any signs of an uptrend. So maybe a more appropriate and conservative way to approach this is to wait for confirmation of that court case that things are actually getting better before they get worse and to wait for this thing to break above the EMA line, indicating signs of that reversal, right? Just like we talk about in LPP, waiting for that confirmation of a reversal. So therefore you have that confirmation of that price action, that direction is in your favor. That just means that you're gonna have to make adjustments for your desired entry and exit. It's all about how aggressive or how conservative you want to approach this. But the reason I wanted to bring this up is not because I believe everyone should do this, but because it's super relevant, right? In just two days, this trial will start. And the thing that I wanna point out is, I believe that this stock will become an indicator that will determine whether Trump sees success in his trial or not. If we see that he is experiencing success, then I believe that this stock can just naturally begin to rise because news will bring it to light. And if he begins to show signs of failing in this case, 
then I believe that will also reflect in the price, potentially selling off even more. So again, all the good and all the bad. I wanted to explain both sides, but I wanted to talk about a stock that recently sold off 70% that offers a little bit over 230% return based off of current price points and previous all-time highs. We've seen in the past before that hype when it's present, again, a lot of great things can happen, but please do not be like every other Reddit trader out there. If you end up jumping into any trade, maybe not just this one, but maybe any other trade that is all driven based off of hype and manipulation, do your part as a trader to see through the madness and do your job to lock in profits. Again, that risk to reward ratio calculator is available at techbutsolutions.com for free. And if you have any questions about it, feel free to comment down below. I wanted to invite you to my live trading session tomorrow right at Market Open. And that's going to be the second link in the description down below. So you can see every entry and every exit that I take during those live sessions. I can reassure you that those trades are not as risky as these. I like to focus more on blue chip stocks or shorting overvalued companies. If you want to tune on in, second link in the description down below and I could see you as soon as tomorrow when the market opens. Like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take care team.